Hi, this is Darren. Um, just wants to show you how to manually update your HTC Desire to 2.2. I'm using the T-Mobile stock ROM, um, not rooted, no um, flashy ROMs or anything. Um, and I have installed the HTC Sync application. So you want to plug this your phone in, run HTC Sync, and double click the RUU file which you've downloaded. Check my blog for these files. We'll go through your process now. What you want to do is tick the boxes, then click next. Read the information, it's important that you do, and it will go through a process. Update and it'll explain what it's doing. It will show you what version it's going to go from and what it's going to go to. Once you're happy with all this, click next. Read the last little bit, and it will start doing this. Now, what might happen is the phone will reboot to the HTC C HTC that's about HTC. Um, logo as you can see here on your phone show that it's doing something now what's going to happen uh, more than likely is that you're going to get an error message on your RUU application saying that it's lost communication this is just because the drivers don't install proper sometimes just exit it keep your phone exactly as it is and you just double click the RUU again and restart the whole thing and it will go through the process so everything should be fine it'll take a while go through the little process you'll see your phone updating rebooting maybe you'll get this little progress bar on your computer you get a little green progress bar on your phone as well to show what it's doing once this is done you will notice that it will get to 100% and will reboot the device once it's finished completely you'll get a little congratulations you're updated so now what you're on is you are on the unbranded worldwide English version of 2.1 so you can see there that there's no branding on the boot screen it's just the HTC quietly brilliant so what's going to happen now is I'm just going to show you that we are on the HTC um, WWE edition and now this is just I'm going to mount the um, SD card whilst I'm here because we're going to need access to the SD card um, and then what I'm going to do is just show you quickly then we are on 2.1 still and with it we've got a different software number um, compared to the T-Mobile one I'll put some links in my blog so you can get access to the official RUUs on the XDA forums which is um, it's not my post it's a post that I found so just clarifying there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open my SD card so, and then I'm just going to attach that to the side of my screen so I've got the files and then what I'm going to do is the OTA update that we downloaded as you can see there again check my blog I'm going to rename that right click rename and call it update all one word lowercase update once I've done that I press enter and you see it's changed to update I'm going to now copy that right click and copy and then I'm going to go over to my SD card I'm going to paste that at the root of the SD card so that means it's not going to be in any folders or anything it's going to be directly onto the root of the SD card once this is done I'm going to unmount my SD card just to be safe and then power off the phone okay so once the phone's powered off I'm then going to reboot it but this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the volume down button and press the power button whilst keeping all the volume down and it will reboot into the bootloader screen so as you can see here this is the stock bootloader there is no recover, um, custom recoveries or anything on this phone this is all stock there's no root just to show that you can do it without the root so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the volume buttons to navigate to recovery sorry about the images on there but my usual camera is not available at the moment so I highlight recovery and press the power button it reboots so all I did there is just press the power button once I highlighted it, I didn't press anything else, I wasn't holding any of the buttons. It reboots to this little screen here, this time I'm going to press the volume up and hold it, and then press the power button. And as you can see this is a stock recovery. And all I'm going to do this time is to go to apply SD card update zip, and press the power button. Now if everything's correct, you'll get quite a bit of loading going on, quite a few different screens and reboots. Eventually we'll come back to the recovery and it will say reboot to complete installation so that's what I'm going to do now there you go that's what it should look like and reboot now you're going to get quite a lot of different loading screens 
quite a lot of wait time. Just be patient with all this. Um, it's important that you don't touch the phone. If you've got mine is plugged in here, but if you decide that you don't want it plugged in, then make sure that you have a full charge on your battery. Eventually, you'll get to this little green loading screen, and this will last quite a while as well. And you'll um, see several different versions of that and several different reboots. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to reboot again, and this time it's going to reboot to the HTC um, HTC um, boot screen. And show you the quietly brilliant again. There you go. So that's just to show that you have got the ROM on. Um, don't forget this is the update from the RUU that you have um, just flashed. So it's only an update this to the RUU that we've already done. You get a congratulations, you've been updated there. So just click OK on that and then you're going to get a percentage bar which lasts quite a while. Be patient with that. Once it's finished you're going to get to this bit here. So that's your ROM installed now. Um, it will load. And now your phone should be on 2.2 now this is the second time I've done this I was actually on this ROM before I actually reflashed to the T-Mobile one just to show how this could be done um, and I encountered not one problem during this this was this video is me doing it we just edited to get rid of the time so it will fit onto YouTube there you go 2.2 um, and again I'll just show you a couple of the applications again just to show that it is 2.2 because you get the app share in there at the top and then obviously you get the flashlight there um, and then you get the Wi-Fi hotspots which a lot of people have been looking for and there it is but I don't press that I press the phone for some reason but that's it jobs are good if you've got any questions any queries any comments please feel free to leave them below check my blog and we'll see you soon